Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. I post every other day as much as possible. Thank you guys so much um, for the previous video's feedback. I really, really appreciate all of you guys. There's so many nice comments and I'm glad that I was able to help out the community a little bit. If you guys haven't watched that video, check it out. It was the K-Tune shifter install. But today, I'm actually installing a really, really nice part I've always wanted to get. It's the, um, the Toy Time uh, or Toy HQ. Um, crash bar here so let me go ahead and do a quick cinematic here i might be painting in black to match a little bit better with my car but this thing is welded so perfectly the one i have on my car right now is one i custom made with my friend kung um he's always helps me out that one will be up for sale if you guys ever want it um just let me know through instagram just slide into my um uh, just go into my dms here so it'll be redline ricer i mean go ahead and just dm me or message me there all right, since it is winter time here in uh, here, and it's really really cold here in Washington State, I do have some hot water here with some paint. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, it's already cleaned. I already cleaned it with some lacquer thinner, so I'm gonna go ahead spray it with some uh, primer first, and then I'll go ahead and go into the black paint and then clear. So let's go. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of breathing in. Alright guys, it's getting a little dark here, but I sprayed the primer, try it as um, evenly as possible. Not to get any, you know, orange peel early in the stage. Because you get orange peel right now, pretty bad at painting, or you're gonna have to wet sand. So yeah, this looks pretty good overall. Um, just gonna do one coat of primer. Should be plenty. I did that on mine right now. It's thick enough, and I'll go ahead and spray it with some black. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it right now. I'm gonna do two coats of the black, and then a bunch on the clear. Probably like four coats on the clear, just to protect it. So it's the same process I just showed you right now. Um, it's getting really, really cold. You got, and I want to bore you with the painting. So I'll go ahead and go into the garage when it's all done and painted. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got the bar installed. The paint came out really, really well. It has like a really nice sparkle to it. Um, it has like a silver flake because it's actually BMW paint. But guys, look how much better this looks. It's just a much more finished product. It's like boxed in, looks so good painted. And guess what? I'm going to buy that tow hook off of um, his website. So Togi HQ, he has the OEM tow hooks that you just screw into there so that's probably what i'm gonna do but oh my god guys this looks so so good the holes line up so perfectly there's i didn't have any forcing to do it was just just went straight in that's what she said but it went straight in and, and what's really really good about this part is that the gap is much bigger than what i had and the v2 is this one the v1 is a little bit narrower but this one's better because i'm gonna route my exhaust tips through the bar and then have my license plate in the middle. So that's how it's gonna look. Guys, this is such a finished product. And my God, I'm not gonna lie, that paint job came out really, really well. And guys, imagine it with, imagine it with the 
exhaust pipes going through. Oh my god, it's gonna look so good. But damn, guys, it looks so good. This is in no way a sponsored video or anything like that. Just wanted to buy this because I had, I had my eye set on this for a while and it just sets this thing really apart. Wow, look at that. Came out so good. Guys, pick it up to HQ.com. I think it's a really, really great price for the workmanship. The aluminum welding is extremely hard. So I really, really like how it looks. This one, like I said, is up for sale. So go ahead and copy it. My god, this thing looks so good. I'm gonna go ahead and lower the hatch real quick and we're gonna go ahead and look at it. Alright, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, you should, you guys should, if you guys have an MR2 and you're going for this look, I really think you should do it. It also saves a lot of weight, especially for when you're doing a bumper exhaust and you can do a bumper cut. It just, it cools it down a lot. You can get the pressure from inside of the engine bay and the heat that's in there out. And so it's only weighs four pounds. It's so light and it's so strong. So go ahead, check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out and let your passion drive you.